Hey there folks, welcome to Home of the Range with me, Jack. So, today's vlog is a bit different than my usual vlogs. Um, I'm just going to have a bit of a debrief and a catch up of what's been happening in my own life over the last um, probably three to four weeks. Um, so, after my holiday to Vietnam, it was a really awesome experience to come back with some really great insights into myself, like being away from my life, being away from um, my business, um, personal connections. I need to go away just to have a, a bit of a quiet time to myself. Now the holiday was spent doing a lot of um, reflection on my own life choices, also how I want to make changes to myself um, and how I work. Um, so virtually I've been able to reset of what I do, who I am. So, which may sound a bit extreme for a holiday, but um, I need to get away and just do these things. Because I found myself getting a little bit sort of run down emotionally and physically with my business. Um, some like personal contacts with people had left me feeling a little bit lackluster and having a bit of self-doubt about myself. So um, I decided after the holiday in Vietnam to come home and just really look after me, take care of who I am, um, nurture my positives and eradicate the negatives. Um, so yeah, it was really exciting to come home and I did a, a few short courses um, just about you know developing my own sort of, um, I suppose, my, my own self-esteem in a lot of ways, how I, how I react, relate to other people, um, how I present myself, um, a little bit how I think. Um, and I kind of think it's, it's paid off already. I'm already feeling that I'm a bit more centered, a, more, a bit more sort of organized. I'm not chasing my tail all the time. I'm actually able to um, have, make tasks and complete them. Um, because before my holiday, my work was just, you know, I was, I was always busy, um, always exhausted, never had any time for, for me. I kind of always just, like, you know, just worked and um, cleaned house, you know, did the chores, which we all got to do, it's being part of being human. Um, but I decided it's not enough. I need to do more things for me. Like, I need to be able to, you know, every day, make sure that I'm okay because... You know, I've been noticing on Facebook lately and even on Twitter, some of my, my, my friends have been going through some really tough times like um, with marriage breakdowns, um, losing their jobs, um, losing their houses, all these things which are really huge things and um, they're finding it, they're struggling to work out how to deal with, with the, this crisis. And I know exactly what they're going through because like, one way or another, we've all been through a major life crisis, whether it be losing someone we love, or you know, losing a partner, or um, you know, death of a child. These things, you know, shape us in some way. And for me, like I found myself getting caught up in like this cycle of, you know, I'll never get past this. I'll never be able to get through this. Um, and having a self doubt about, you know, this is this hole I'm in. Is the hole I'm in forever, and I'm never gonna get never get pulled out of this hole. Um, and to those people, I say, please hang in there. Like, if you need to, reach out to people, reach out to friends, reach out to me, reach out to a specialist, someone who knows how to help you in your problem. Because you know, you might know this right now, but you are your best friend and also your worst enemy. If you can just ask someone for that first helping hand to get yourself started then from there you'll take over your body and your mind knows how to do what it's got to do it knows when it's got to purge people or purge items or purge behavior you know your body knows universally what it's got to do and it's like people like i have a few friends through um, instagram who have been doing this really horrible like um, body shaming themselves. Look how fat I look in these pants. Look how blah blah blah. My boobs are too small, or whatever the case may be. Um, don't do that. <laughs> Stop doing that because you are unique. You are beautiful, no matter how you are, what shape, size. You know, big boobs, no boobs. Big bum, no bum. It doesn't matter what you look like. At the moment is just a moment in time. If you really want to have a better booty or 
whatever you might need, you can change that in time. But at this point, don't start shaming yourself about how you look, because realistically, you know, this is you. And it's how people, how you perceive yourself is how people are gonna perceive you. If you walk around this, you know, with this demeanor of, I'm so this, I'm so fat, I've got man boobs, I've got this. People will think, well, you don't like yourself. Why should I like you? So I think, you know, so those people don't do that. <laughs> because like, something I was guilty of in the past, like I'd pick one thing up of my appearance, which I hated and obsess about it. Whether it be um, as a kid, like acne and pimples, or if I had a bad haircut, or I, or I was fat, or I was skinny, or I was this, or I was that. I obsessed on the smallest concepts of my life and not knowing that the best parts of me, you can't see. Like the things that make me, me, are things in here. Not the eyes and the mouth, but what's behind those things. It's my mind. My mind is amazing. And I would make no, one thing I'm proud of is the way I think. I'm so proud of the way that I can always manage to get myself out of my funk. And yeah, sometimes I do fail. I, I you know, have to take three or four attempts, but I always get out. And my life I have now isn't by accident. I didn't fall upon some amazing life. Like I've worked hard and worked smart to get where I am. And you are, you can too. Like you may be now at home in your, in your bedroom, you know, on the bed with a bag of Cheetos and a, a bottle of Coke going, why am I fat or why can't I get a job? This is not you, this is you right now. So, you know, Enjoy your Cheetos, enjoy your Coke. When you finish th those items, go to the mirror and look at yourself and say, what do I love about myself? And I think you're gonna say, oh, I love that I can do this. I can have the, the, the state of mind to self-address myself. And say, you know what, I am better than this. I want for myself amazing things. I'm proud of who I am. I may have a bad life just at the moment, but eventually it's gonna be an awesome life. And it's not me saying this, it's every person of success who has made themselves a success. Like there's people who've been through horrible divorces, have been through like loss of children and all these horrible things that you may be going through right now. And these people have turned it around through adversity, called on the strength from inside them and got through it. That's the key. You know, and there's even now there's moments where I dealt, like have self doubt, but the, those little voices in your head that keep coming up, you, you hold them back and say, "I'm better than this." You know, and so th this is kind of all changed what I was <laughs> going to talk about. But it's in essence, this is what we're all about. Our, our, our life experiences we have. You know, if you've had a bad experience and you can share it with somebody and they can learn from it, yeah, it's great. But it's all in you. Like the person inside you can change you or it can kill you, you know? And I know there is, there's some um, situations which are beyond your control. Like the external forces have made your life so bad. But what you can control, control. It may be the smallest part of your life. It may be what you eat, enjoying a lovely meal, enjoying a sunset. You know, sitting on your, your back veranda thinking and about how life is going to be. You know, use the time, to, if, if you're having a, a, a downtime where you want to sort of um, stay indoors and not, and not sort of do anything, use that time to actually you know, work on yourself. You know, if you're being a shut-in for any, any, any reason, use that time to think about the life you want to have. And you can do these things through like meditation, um, just sitting down in a quiet place and thinking, you know, uh, bringing forward the, the, the positive thoughts, but holding back the negative thoughts. Um, Cause that's what it's all about. You know, we're never gonna get through our life if we're, you know, living in this negative um, frame of mind and self doubt, limiting yourself in the behavior. You've gotta be aware of who you are and how amazing you are. Like, you know, at my age now, I wish I knew what I knew now, back then. Like, what do I spend my 20s worrying about the smallest garbage or 
looking for um, an answer externally, looking for someone to make me happy, looking for someone to provide, someone to show me the way. Because it's always been inside me and it's always inside you. You just need to trust yourself and you need to back yourself. So this has been a, a long-winded kind of woo video, but it's all true. I want you to take note what I'm saying to you. And I want you to sort of, if you're going through a hard time, reach out, if not to me, to someone you trust and someone you, you know, who, who loves and cares for you. Because, you know, the road isn't easy. Like, you know, and it defines the definition of your, your travel is how you walk it. If you walk the, walk the road, hunch shoulders and looking for the negatives, you'll find it. If you walk the road with the shoulders back, looking for the positives, that'll be there as well. So my love to you all, hope this video finds you well, and I'll talk to you very soon. Love to you all, bye.